Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, uh, bullet bullet options and at the, also at the same time, we will be looking at the different types of uh, file extensions available in LaTeX. Okay, now let's start with that. Now, if you want to write bullets and numbering, what you have to do is that you have to g g write a command called as big, uh, begin, begin. Inside you have to write itemize, itemize. Okay. Now within this begin itemize and end itemize, all the content that you want to, you know, all the contents that you want to, you know, bull uh, give them as bullets. You have to write them one by one. Now. Uh, to indicate that the items are uh, indicate that each value is uh, itemized i mean each value is a bullet you have to write the keyword backslash item all right and then once you give this item you can write contents okay now i'll explain you guys uh now i'll explain you guys the types of file systems available see uh latex uh, latex files have many uh, uh many um, extensions extensions uh, extensions is that's yeah that's the spelling okay now let's look at one by one okay dot text dot tex this is the tech file or uh, uh, this is actually the tech file the core file of input the core file and the most important file okay all contents are um, written slash typed within this file okay so dot text is actually a text file now if you were to since i wrote this in uh, begin itemize you will see how this comes out. If I were to build this, you will get a bullet, and then you will get a bullet, and you will be writing uh, it, everything what you wrote comes as uh, within a bullet. Okay. Next, if you want to write a next line, next you want to write a next item, next uh, thing, write this item again, and your next type type file is file extension is actually uh dot bib okay dot bib okay now dot bib is actually a bibliography file bibliography file now what this dial what the what does this does is okay ha it has has the attributes attributes and uh, metadata metadata uh, for instance like author's name okay author's name author's name uh, title title page pages uh, if sometimes abstract abstract year of publication uh, etc. Year of publication, etc. Of all the files. Okay. Sometimes when you refer to papers and all, they'll put uh, they'll put uh, indications stating that okay, they refer uh, this they refer this this content from this paper, this content from that book and all. You no, know, if you want to do the, all those kind of stuff, bibliography files store all the metadata of those contents. We'll be, this will come at very uh, this will come at a very later stage, but this is important. If you want to write the, those so those kind of data, you need pip files, okay? And then if you want to write the next item. Press this item. The next item is a dot log file or a log file. This is this is straightforward. Log file, okay? Uh, it contains all the logs, all the uh, errors. Warnings, uh, execution, execution messages, steps, steps while compiling, 
compiling etc okay now the next item the next kind of file okay is the I mean other than that uh, there are other I mean, uh, there are many files like ox files uh, uh, .gz files which get generated these are like these are like support files support files okay okay uh, the support files that come when a file is executed and a tech file file is executed okay next item on the screen next okay next item is that um, you will have something called as dot sty file call as style files now what what these do is that they contain uh, tech instructions and they contain text text instructions okay uh, and formats form formats to be in included in the file in the file see when you when if if you have an output file like output file like an art output file like an article or report and all they all ha do not have the same style okay each of them have their own pattern and stuff and uh, dot sty dot sty or style format files okay style format files have their own themes and formats as to how files should how th things should be arranged and stuff uh, and all okay that's why style files are used okay that's why style files are that's why style files are used and then next is an item fi next item is that a dot bst file dot bst file uh, this is this is a style file for bibliography this is a style file for bibliography okay and then the next item next item is that you have is a dot toc file this is a table of contents file okay and next thing is okay what it does is that when you run when you compile when you have large number of sections subsections and paragraphs and all and everything in a command sorry in a file let's say okay uh, when you compile them talk file dot dot doc files or talk files or table of content files has the name of all the table of all the entries that are to be present in the table of contents when you run the file for the first time all the important things that that has to be in the table of contents gets accumulated and they get accumulated in this talk file and based on the entries in the talk file your table of contents gets generated okay so that's the re that's the importance of the talk files and then what you have is that and then uh, the most important file and this is uh, obviously one of the most important files but we, which will not be talking much these are called as class files okay so if you guys notice this class the document class is the article here like what it means is that when you use article uh, there is a class file called as article.cls which has been used by latex to create uh, to create the article likewise as an article you have other uh, class files other class files corresponding to um, doc uh, corresponding to beamer I mean the presentation um, reports books journals conferences and all okay all those class files have an extension cls like that it is possible to create uh, class files of your own choice of your own uh, liking liking in latex but that's a little more that's very that's like uh, more of an advanced fee advanced function advanced thing okay that will not be talking in these tutorial series that's like uh, advanced thing for only for developers and all who are, who are like who want to make their own kind of documents and all for that kind of people that will not talk about that now if you guys since we wrote all these items and all let's see how this works to run this click this build and there you have it and if you guys want to zoom in zoom in you can zoom as per you want 
And if you guys see, all of the all of these are bullets and numbered. Now, what the advantage of this is, advantage of this is, no matter how many items, if you just want to bullet something, all you have to do is that itemize it, and then take that takes care of it. And then, if you guys want this to be numbered, okay, okay, I'll show show you something. This is a, a bulleted list. Okay. Uh, excuse the excuse the prop the proper. Okay. Let me write this proper. This is a bullet list. Okay. Let me copy all this. Okay. And paste this. This is a numbered list. Okay. And if you want to change this to numbered, if you want to num. Uh, number them one 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 two three like that what you have to do is that you just have to re uh, remove this itemize and then type enumerate and simple as that and if uh, to s and simple as that uh, all you have to do is that change the itemize keyword to enumerate and then you follow the same procedure and if I were to build this okay there you have it it is numbered like this so what I'm telling you guys is that you just uh, right now in this tutorial we saw how to make a bulleted list and a, and a numbered list okay and then we also saw the file kind of file ex file extensions available in available in LaTeX now the reason why I wanted you guys to know about the file extension is that okay uh, ignore this for a while these are the, those are the videos I'm recording uh, let me op let me open let me open to go to my home and where are those okay these are the latter tutorials I'm making and the introduction you guys see whenever you compile them okay this is the file you had compiled but you have this dot gz file you have a log file you have an ox file if you have to open all this you have so many you have so many thing, things and contents written in all of these especially in the log and all you have so many contents written all of these what these are that you just have to keep in mind that these are some accessory files which get generated when you compile a tech file and the output is in this uh, file a PDF file so you have to keep this keep this into consideration okay that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial I th this I think this is long enough in the next tutorial we'll see a little more of other speeches available in LaTeX. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next tutorial. So take take care then. Bye.